Here is your standard safety and getting started documentation. The unit is very compact and light. Uh, and here at the front you can see the um, removable sticker with a serial number and the two LED status lights. Turn it around to the other side. You will find your Ethernet port down here, the power socket, and there's a reset button just underneath the console port. Let's see what else is in the box. Here we have a 1.5 meter Ethernet cable, which is pretty handy if you want to get started quickly. And we have two types of uh, mounting brackets. So the first type is for office environments with drop ceilings. These simply click into the ceiling rails and the AP is mounted underneath. Uh, the second type is for mounting AP to flat surfaces. So essentially you affix this mounting bracket to the surface using the pre-drilled holes and uh, you simply clip on the access point when ready. It's very low profile and that's how it looks like sideways. A very important thing to note is that the access point does not come with a power adapter. So there's three ways to power up this access point. Uh, you can simply use an Ethernet cable to connect it to a PoE switch. Option two is to use the power injector, also sold by Aruba. So you simply connect a um, one end to the router, the other cable to the access point, and power gets injected over here. And the third way of powering up the AP is to use the uh, power adapter, which is also sold separately by Aruba. And there you have it, the Aruba Instanton AP11.